you know, Joe Burrow uh, looks like he might be headed to the Cincinnati Bengals. And if you start to look at the AFC North, if you're looking at quarterbacks, if you're looking at divisions here, which division is in the best hands when it comes to quarterbacks moving forward? Because let's say Joe Burrow goes to Cincinnati and is a very good quarterback. I got Lamar Jackson, and I'm not, I, I haven't given up on Baker Mayfield, and we don't know what the Steelers are going to do. I don't like who they have if somebody's succeeding Ben Roethlisberger, the players they have on their roster right now. But the AFC North is in pretty good hands, it feels like. The AFC East with Sam Darnold, Josh Allen. Tom Brady, we don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to happen soon here. And then Miami might end up with Justin Herbert or Tua tonga Vailoa. You might look at the AFC East and say, you're in pretty good hands there. Yeah, Paul. NFC West, you got Russ, you got uh, Jimmy G, Jared Goff, which people are cooling a little bit on. But then you, Kyler Murray had a really nice day. That might be the division. That might be uh, the leader in the clubhouse right now. Do you have a worse division for quarterbacks right now? I'm trying to think who would come to mind. I, I, I'm going to go NFC South only because Breeze is very old, but not he's still very good, but the window is closing. Tampa Bay Bucks, uh, Atlanta Falcons, Matt Ryan's good, but he's he's like a B plus. And then the Carolina Panthers are in flux. How about the AFC South? Pretty good now. Well, Deshaun Watson, you well, know. Well, now that Tannehill looks okay. Well, but <laughs> I, nobody's, I, I don't know if anybody's buying in on Ryan Tannehill is like long-term answer there. Jacoby Brissett is, is good. Deshaun Watson's special. And then you got Jameis, or uh, who am I throwing in there? Uh, Minshew Mania? Uh, Nick Foles. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean. Yeah, Gardner, eh, yeah, that's dicey. I mean, Foles is 0-4 and, and Gardner's like 5-5. Five and five. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's dicey there. Who else would you put in there? NFC North is still, you got Rodgers is really good. Kirk D. Cousins during the afternoon is really good. Stafford, I don't know what's going to happen with him. And Mitchell Trubisky. You know, you know, the Bears could have won that. If 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 they get that lateral to Allen Robinson, they 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 have a chance to win that game against Green Bay. It's crazy. Uh, Fritzy just sent me AFC West. Carr, Locke, Rivers. No. A lot no. of question marks there. No. Other than Mahomes, there's really not much to work with there. Yeah. Uh Mahomes saves the division there, but I, I haven't seen enough of Drew Locke. I, I think Drew Locke is guaranteed to disappoint Bronco fans. Like, it just feels like that, unfortunately. Derek Carr, I've said all along, I don't think he's the quarterback when they get to Vegas. And Phillip Rivers, I think he's done with the Chargers. So. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.